welcome back to PHP 101. In this video, we're gonna talk about while loops. So similar syntax to for loops and for each loops. But of course, in order to do that, to do a while loop, we're gonna use while instead of for and for each. So while, and then we'll have some sort of condition here. And then we will have our curly brackets. And that's kind of the basic syntax of a while loop. Now there's some things that you need to do in order for this to work and not cause you problems. So first off, you need to have some sort of condition. So just like our for loop, we'll use the i variable. And let's say it's less than 20. Um, then we'll, we'll go ahead and do whatever it is that we're going to do. Okay. Now, if you just run this like this, you kind of have, you'll run into a little bit of a problem because i is not set anywhere else and you don't set it inside of the while loop. So it'll just keep running and running and running and running because I is always gonna be less than 20 because it's never been set. So what we need to do first off is set outside the while loop our I equal to something. So we can set I equal to zero, right? But even still, this isn't, uh, this is still gonna cause a problem because I is not being incremented. So I will still always be less than 20. So in order to make this work, then inside our while loop, we then need to increment our I variable so that now, it, each time it runs the loop, it will go ahead and it'll increment i and eventually it'll reach, it'll become equal to or greater than 20 and this will stop running. So this is just like a for loop. You set your initial value here, you have a condition and then you have an increment. It's just not all inside of the parentheses here. So it works a little bit differently. Now for that reason, Sometimes or oftentimes while loops can be a little bit more powerful or a little bit more useful uh, simply because it's spread out like this so you can do do more things. You don't have to contain it all inside of um, a per the parentheses here and you can actually manipulate it a little bit more. So you probably find yourself using while loops more than for loops. All right, so then inside here, we'll just go ahead and echo the value of I. So we'll do this here and we'll go ahead and we will run that so you can see down here then we have it starts off at zero because we set it to zero and it loops all the way until it reaches 20 because we have less than 20 now if we did less than or equal to of course it would then increment up to 20. now another thing that we can do here with while loops is we can use them in conjunction with arrays so if we create uh, a new array here and let's we'll give it a name array and we'll use our array function to create it and we'll just do what we've been doing name email and address like this and then what we can do with this array because it's we've created an indexed array here and we have access we have this looping through creating numbers we can actually use i to uh, get a hold of or to to um, to use our elements inside of our array using the indexes. So if we say while we do array and then we do I like this, then what this is gonna do is it's gonna loop through, it starts at zero. So this is essentially the key of zero. So it's gonna look for the key of zero in our array and see if it exists. And if it exists, this will evaluate to true, which means the while loop will run. Then it'll go, this will increment, so then it'll go one, and then it'll go two. So it'll go through this array, and it'll pull out these elements. But once it gets to four, or once it gets to three, or the fourth element, then it's gonna evaluate to false because that doesn't exist in our array. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. If we Go like this and we echo out array and let's set the variable here array and then i like this what this is going to do if you look here it loops through and you see we get name email and address and again the reason that works is because this is a indexed array so if we print r on our array you can see zero, one, two. So this is, when this is zero, 
we'll get name when this is one, we'll get email, and when this is two, we'll get e or we'll get address. And then once it's three, there's no th there's no three in our array here. So it returns false and it returns false at every point from there. So uh, again, we can use this to uh, loop through different arrays and, and do things like this. All right. So that's some some usage there with while again can be a very handy tool. If you're working with, say, for example, a CMS like WordPress, their main loop is a while loop. So it's good to be familiar with this and understand how it works so that you can have some familiarity when you get into some of those programs and so forth.